a now deleted YouTube channel by the name of Super Mario Fan 275 uploaded a video in 2012 with the name SpongeBob Scary Glitch. It is now lost media due to the channel owner closing their account. The video starts off with a Windows Movie Maker text. You'll know what I'm talking about if you watched YouTube in the early days, saying, Hi guys, I wanted to record a SpongeBob episode so all of y'all people who can't afford a TV can see it. Back when I was recording, it was a weird glitchy thing happened. It cuts to the SpongeBob episode, Nasty Patty, so far. The only weird thing happening is the color shifting. At the very part where SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs are feeding the inspector the Nasty Patty, before it shows his dead body, it cuts to a black screen. Text now appears saying, Prepare to see things you can't comprehend. And then it starts counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Then it showed a text that said, Turn off your TV now, before continuing to count down. 2, 1, 0. The very moment Zero popped up, everything went pitch black. Now out of the blue, the same text, prepare to see things you can't comprehend, appears again. Only this time after that, disturbing images start flashing, which were dead animals and dead people. These images were presented on the screen for exactly 20 seconds, and then the next text have a wonderful day, appeared, ending the video there. In conclusion, viewers that watched the video were left traumatized, as this is easy to tell, since the comments were filled with, WTF did I watch, and I'm not going to sleep after this, etc. One comment said, Did you make this? Super Mario Fan 275 replies with, No I didn't. The video was shortly reported to YouTube, and the video was deleted. Due to the video, everybody kept harassing Super Mario Fan, and he closed his account. Recently, one image from the video has resurfaced, being the Have a Wonderful Day text. <sighs> and that was a lesser-known hijack written by Magically Delicious. Review time. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here, guys. Uh, there are loads upon loads of hijacking pastas out there. But stuff like this is why I don't narrate them all that much. Good ones, like Half Speed, th th those, are, like, those are actually intriguing to read. Stuff like that is actually what gets me interested. But, like, this, this was sad. And not, not in a well-written way. I mean sad as in, that's it? That's the hijack? That was just a bunch of gore flashing on screen for no reason. Yeah. Nothing remotely interesting went down. Nothing intriguing. It's a nothing burger. Pretty much my best description of it. Uh. Also, prepare to see things you can't comprehend. Really? I'm pretty sure everyone over the age of... 12 or 13 knows what a dead body looks like uh, upon human thought. Not to mention, why did the hijackers make this happen if they're just going to tell said person to turn off their TV? Which kind of defeats the purpose of their whole hijacking. I... Man, this is, this is, this, this isn't all that good. Um, 
final rating, one. I'm rating it a one because it at least had a coherent narrative. Yeah. As always, this is simply my personal opinion. Uh, we all have our opinions regarding these pastas. What did you think of the pasta? What would you have done to improve upon it? And as always, I will see you all in the next narration. I love you all. Bless.